everyone, it's Bloom here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Clock Tower The First Fear. Excuse me. This time we are going to be doing the A ending, and the requirements for this ending is you either have Laura or Anne. You can't have both of them survive because one of them has to um, die to kick off the first Bobby chase. Um, you either have Laura or Anne survive until the end. Uh, and you have to, I think we have to go through the Simon Barrows route, so the way we find out that Mary cannot be trusted is not through, uh, finding Jennifer's father's body, it is through the, um, the scene where she locks Jennifer in jail with Simon Barrows, and, uh, we're gonna do Lot's gun death, and then, what's the other thing? The other thing is that you have to free the crows. And we, we cannot use the evasion point with the crows like we did in the last ending because that causes the crows to die and therefore they cannot save you. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. Um, so the way we keep either Laura or Anne alive is that we have to not see one of them die. And it is, um, it is way easier if you don't care about... Uh, who survives, and honestly, like, why would you? Um, then it is much, much, much easier to keep Laura alive, because her death is either caused by going into the shower room and finding her dead in the shower, or it is caused by just going into the room and clicking on the armor in the room where we find Mary, um, and then we see her dead. If we do not do that, then we do not see um, Laura die. Uh, and it is harder to keep Anne alive. Uh, I'll explain that a little later. Saying that, we are still going to keep Anne alive for this ending. And then I will let Laura survive an ending S. I will let her survive. Okay. get the perfume. There's a small bottle of perfume. It's the same as our teacher's Miss Mary's got a bottle of perfume. Oh, the music didn't appear because I clicked on the bathroom first. If you try to go to the hallway, then the music will start and kind of lead you into the bathroom. And this is why most people see Laura's shower scene. Uh, uh, Laura? Laura's- me saying Laura's shower scene implies something that it is n that it not actually is. I mean her sh her shower death scene, her bathroom death scene. Let's hide in the garage. The garage, as some would say. show you. I want to, I guess this time I will show you the insecticide. Evasion point. Last time I died. Because my health was in the red, but if I can rest before doing it, then my health won't be in the red. Hmm. 
rest, Jennifer. Nothing is... If I go here... Rest. Good. Leave the room before you die. All right, good. Bird's nest. Seems to be a bird's nest. It sure does. What is this? There are eggs and the rest of it is filled with rubbish. There's a key. Found a key inside the rubbish. Pocketed West Wing key. Pick up another can of insecticide. It's a canister of insecticide. Picked up insecticide. Got a rope. No good, I can't climb it. you can. It has clothing inside. What kind of clothes are these? Obtained a black robe. Ugh, this is so last year. Skirt is so detailed. Super Nintendo games have no right looking this good. And I, I said before in a different video, this isn't even the best looking version. I think it looks better, way better on Super Nintendo with filters. And it still looks extremely good. One leg of ham is contained inside. Got some ham. This 
sprayed the insecticide. A key fell down. Pocketed golden key. And I'm not completely sure about this, so take take this with a grain of salt. I would guess that the reason is is because the PlayStation version is based around place placing different images. Like these are just a series of images that are like animations. Um and they're all like very compressed um pre-rendered backgrounds and stuff like that and then the sprites are just like pictures that are compressed as well, but the Super Nintendo version is just a standard kind of um 16-bit sprite. Uh, and therefore modern systems like emulators like modern software and systems like emulators can tell it can recognize and improve the quality of the sprites like the actual 16-bit sprites better than it can just a regular image could be completely wrong <laughs> but that seems to be how it is okay it won't open. Like, the, the game in the system, it recognizes what... what a 16-bit sprite is. But the way it's, 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 it has been ported to the PlayStation 1 is just as, like, a regular image with a complete disregard for... what the... what the... what the bits are. It's difficult to explain. And again, I could be completely wrong, but that's my theory. And, um, I said before that this isn't even the developer's fault that the PlayStation version looks worse than the Super Nintendo version because it's just like a matter of the emulator being able to make the Super Nintendo version look better. Golder, golden, golder key. Good, I don't have to come back here. Uh, looks like the glass was used very recently. There's still liquid at the bottom of it. Ah! There's a silver key tucked underneath the glass, pocketed the silver key. The telephone line has been cut. But then who was phone? Just knock it over. And I want to be caught by Mary, so let's go in and out. Oh my god, why did I have to enter and exit that room so many times? Miss Mary! I'm glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Miss... 
everyone... everyone is... It's all right, Jennifer, okay? Come on, drink this. It'll settle you down. <laughs> who, who are you? Uh, uh, Hungry. Hey. Um... You are... Burroughs. This man is Mr. Burroughs? <laughs> right now, it's watching you. Huh? Watching you from the cradle under the star. Cradle under the star? <laughs> and you don't have the copper key, so Lot's going to rescue us and die. Jennifer, you're safe. Lot! Wait, I'll open it shortly. <laughs> Good. They are now run away before Miss Mary comes. Huh? Hurry, Jennifer! I can hear a voice outside the room! Really, what a shame. Worrisome children. Jennifer, wait right there. I'm going to punish you. Only way you can survive is by doing this. This seems to be the mansion's courtyard. If you are trying to keep Anne alive, I highly, 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 highly recommend saving. Um, and you can do this through here, or save states like I'm doing. Um, because every time you pass through this hallway, you have a chance of hearing Anne scream. In the Super Nintendo version, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't look out the window, uh, Anne will not die. As long as you do not see her die, she does not die. This is not the case for Anne in the PlayStation version. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Okay. Good, we made it. But we have to pass through there one more time. If we hear her scream, and I'm playing the PlayStation version, uh, if we hear her scream, then she is dead. And we have screwed our A ending walkthrough. Or if you're trying to keep Anne alive in the S ending, you have screwed it. Silver key was used. Just needed to go back here. There's a piece of paper in the book. The demon idol is carefully guarded. A tree within a forest, a person within a crowd, a statue among statues. Okay, so it's the demon idol this time. A lot of dust has built up. There's a mural across one entire wall. I can't see the whole mural. It's blocked by the shelf, doesn't matter. A note has been put into the Book of Spells. Time is made to adhere. The clock of the Great Clock Tower has been stopped. There are various types of chemicals on the desk. Looks like a salt shaker and a candle. And we want to save again because we are passing through this hallway. But after we pass through here, then we... We're good. Uh, 
All right. Mannequin has been clothed with a dress. Okay, Bobby's not here. The mannequin is wearing a dress. It's beautiful. don't have what we need to free the crows yet. That is upstairs. I also don't want to go in there accidentally while Bobby's chasing me. Okay, so that's going to be the ritual room. gonna be behind here. This is a very consistent Bobby trigger point because if it is if it is the demon idol walkthrough if the key um, if the key item is the demon idol he's definitely gonna be behind the curtain. If it isn't if it's the staff staff's behind the curtain and Bobby's up here if we play the piano show up. Thing, but that was interesting. 
I didn't know about that hiding spot. I, I, this is uh, one of the hiding spots that's ex exclusive to the PlayStation 1 version because this room does not exist uh, in, in the Super Nintendo version. Instead, in the Super Nintendo version, there is one room that you cannot enter because they just never modeled it. Uh, but it looks like they did in the PlayStation version, and it is just another bedroom with an additional hiding spot. Bathroom, right? Yeah. The water seems to be working. Damn it, I'm never gonna find those maggots. I'm starting to think that Bobby can never show up here in the PlayStation version. I say this game isn't scary to me now, but, like, because, I mean, well, I know everything that's going to happen, and I know that if, like, something happens, then he's not going to find me. The only thing that's, the only part where he has a chance of finding you is um, when you hide in the loft in the garage, or um, when you hide in the bathroom. And, uh, Loft in the Garage is still fine, because you can just get down, um, if he shows up, but, uh... Ah! A small statue is hidden inside the bosom of the bronze statue. Somehow it's cold. A cross sticks out of the bottom of the statue. Picked up the demon idol. This game is sufficiently creepy. Uh, even by today's standards. That's why I love it so much. Um, Bobby, are you going to show up here? Show you another place where he can show up. Yep. Alright, but this evasion point's really easy. Let's rest. Okay. This way. I feel like someone is watching me. Who's it gonna be? French doll suspended from the ceiling. Contestant two. Big clown doll. There's a key on top. Pocketed ritual key. What's that sound? Oh, it won't open. Jennifer, try the other door. <laughs> what 
what is this room? Oh yeah. Books are lined up here. A piece of paper is stuck in the book. The demon idol is carefully guarded. A tree within a forest, a person within a crowd, a statue among statues. I already found it. Turn the light off because for some reason we can only grab the bronze dagger that way. Sorry, that was my stomach. It's a glimmering dagger. Got the bronze dagger. A key. Pocketed the bird's cage key. Now all we need to do is free the crows. We'll free the mice too, because it's nice. a knife. You should take the knife. Or, or not. A dead crow has been hung here. A crow's head has been cut off completely. Same. I want to run away as well. Free the mice. The rats ran away. If you... If you... Sometimes if you examine it, it says there are mice running around. Sometimes it says there are rats running around. So, like, that's not... That's not just my mistake. The game does that, too. This room looks just like that mural earlier. Look at all these dead crows. 
there's a dead body of a crow. It has been decapitated. It's an iron disc. A cross has been cut into it. It fits exactly into the cross-shaped groove. What's that sound? The hole seems to go really far down. If I use this ladder, I can probably get all the way down there. What's that? I've never seen a dog before. Oh, it's like some sort of huge cat. Robe. Perfume. The smell that I know so well. The smell of Miss Mary's perfume. We can... We can run over here to see the pretty candles, but Lot already died, so she's not gonna be here. But it might be a good good idea to check anyway. Because you're going to get the F ending if you don't see her die. Replaying this game so many times to get different endings, some, some things can get confusing. You can think you did something, but then it just turns out that you, you just think you did because you did it another time in a different playthrough. There are cans here. It seems to be kerosene. I want to examine that every time, don't know why. It's not required. just pick the third floor because the second floor just leads to the C or D ending. I mean, the C ending is good, D ending is bad. But...
this right. That was the A ending, that was the second best ending, and it is the best ending that isn't secret. If you go to uh, all the endings list, all of the endings will be listed, um, but not the S ending, um, because it is a secret ending, and that's what we are going to get last. Um, the difference between the S ending and the A ending is that Laura slash Anne and I say Laura slash Anne because it, it can be either one, depending on who you leave alive. But as you can see in the A ending, even though uh, Anne makes it to the end, she doesn't survive. But I guess it's considered better because um, she, she made it further, I guess. Um, but if the you can instantly know if you got the A or the S ending because uh, in the S ending you will go up on the clock tower and the other girl will be laying on the floor. So um, if you see that, that's good. Uh, and she'll just get up and walk out with you. As well, well you'll see in the S ending playthrough. Um, and it it can be Mary kills either Laura or Anne depending on who you left alive. Uh, the only difference in the variation of the ending was that Laura would come out and be like, Jennifer, before Mary flings her off the, the clock tower. Um, and then just to mix things up, I'll have Laura be alive in the S ending. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and we have one more to go, so I'm not saying goodbye quite yet. Uh, Thank you for watching, and I hope you will stick around for my other videos.